And the other group that I'm finding particularly challenging are those patients with diabetes who are managed with these new SGLT2 inhibitors that give them yeah. high levels of um, glucose in their urine. Yeah. Not only chronic urinary tract infection, but chronic bacterial candidiasis, yeah. which I find very hard to eliminate. I, I, it's, it, I agree with you. I think it's a terribly difficult area, incredibly difficult. And uh, we, we, we have another a number of diabetics that we truly struggle with. And I, I'm, w w it's too inchoate for us to be able to offer uh, coherent advice. I'm most troubled by the candidiasis, I might say. Once a candidate gets into the system, we've really got a, a serious problem. And that... Um, one of my most recent PhDs um, went and did some work in the diabetic clinic and, and, and uh, Sheila, she's about to publish it, and, and found that the, the perception of urinary tract infection in the diabetic clinics is, is all over the place. So, so once again, it's, it, we need some fundamental, basic, scientific approaching uh, approaches coming out that acknowledge the limitations of the tests that are used and um, you know start from square one as with the elderly yeah I haven't got an answer